Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am Kat Miffin, your yoga teacher for today. Now before we get into our practice, I want to speak a little bit uh, about what this practice is all about, why I am bringing it to you, and then a very, very, very exciting challenge that I'm going to be hosting that is totally free. It's not even a challenge, it's an immersion. It's a three-day, three-day free live immersion. It's going to be happening on Facebook. Um, don't worry if you can't make the live times because you will be able to do all of the practices um, at a, whenever you can. But the idea of it being live is that we can really create this beautiful, beautiful community and bring people together because I want to support you. But what I also really want to do is open up a space where we can support each other through our practice. Now, one of the things that really struck me when doing a lot of research for this challenge and also looking at my own life is this feeling of overwhelm. It's this feeling of like, what am I doing? The to-do list is like this big. I can't kind of like just pull it apart and just kind of focus on what's important. So what I wanted to do was create a challenge that would focus around not only the feeling of overwhelm, the feeling of this confidence, both inner and outer confidence, looking at strength, and also ways to feel into your personal power, those ways to really take hold of your authority, speak with truth, speak with decisiveness. And so we're talking about, even though yes, this is a yoga and a meditation challenge or immersion, this is really about how you conduct your life off the mat as well, because really that's what yoga is all about. You know, we're here on the mat, but really what we are teaching ourselves, what we're learning is about how to conduct our lives away from the mat. So that's why I wanna bring this challenge to you. So before you do anything, before you get on your mat today, just pop me on pause, scroll down, click the link, it will take you through to a page where you just need to pop in your email address and then there'll be a link to the Facebook group and then just request access to the Facebook group. The Facebook group won't be opened until a week before the, uh, the actual immersion starts. It starts on the 4th of November. If you are coming to this video for a flow later than the 4th of November, then I apologize. Well, you can still join during the immersion, but then once the immersion's done, I'll be opening it up around about four times a year. So just do keep an eye out, but by all means, you can still do what we're about to do on the mat with me. So hopefully that all makes sense. I really cannot wait to share this with you. I've been working on this for a couple of months now, and it seems mad that just for like a three day challenge, you're working on it for months, but I really wanted to be able to know who I'm talking to and really feel into what it is that people uh, are feeling, uh, what people want, and really where they can go to, where their yoga can take them, because it's great to be able to move for exercise, for strength, but actually it's about so much more than that. So thank you for listening to me ramble and chat. Now, let's get on our yoga mats for a little flow. So come down to a comfortable seated position. Now I recommend grabbing yourself a block if you need it. And take a big shoulder roll back. Close the eyes, take the palms facing upwards. So these palms facing upwards, these are all about this surrendering, surrendering and being able to receive. So there's so much happening here. We're, we're surrendering to everything that's outside of us. And we're also, also allowing ourselves to be open to receiving support, receiving maybe it's praise, whatever it is, just receiving energy from other people, receiving a smile without having to ask why, just receiving. Just feel into that for a moment. So we spend so much of our lives giving, 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 which is beautiful, but we really need to fill ourselves up in order to be able to give with our full potential. Take a big breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth. Let's do that again. Bring the hands up and just start to shake the hands. This is a really beautiful way to just release energy and also build a little bit of heat through the body. And then you 
can keep those eyes closed for a little bit longer. Place the left hand down by the side of you. Sweep the right arm all the way up. Stretching over, opening through the right side body here. See if you can pivot that chest slightly further towards the sky. And then bringing it back through center, placing the right hand down, sweep the left arm all the way up. Reaching, reaching long. Taking that gaze, pivoting the chest up towards the sky. Beautiful, one more breath here. And then come back. Now moving with the breath, you're gonna move side to side exactly as we've just done. You're gonna inhale coming over to one side. Exhale as you round the spine, work forwards, and then inhale up to the other side. Exhale as you come forwards, inhale up. So the beauty of this, keep going. The beauty of working this one breath, one action is that we can start to find a meditation within our movement. So when you're working and holding postures for ages and ages, sometimes those thoughts are creeping in. When we're moving one breath, one action, it's so beautiful and so simple that we're able to find the rhythm and maybe, just maybe, find a little bit of meditation while we're there. So just keep working, inhaling up to the side, exhaling down through center, inhaling, taking one more each way. Coming back down through center and release. Place the hands on the knees, inhale, lift the chest. So pulling on the knees slightly, really show a little bit of pride through that chest, lifting up, option to drop the head the whole way back and open through the throat. And then start to round the spine, drop the chin down to the chest. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing. One more time, inhale and lift. Exhale, release. Rolling over onto all fours. Hmm. Just take a little moment, just pad out here. So just feeling into your mat, feeling into your ground, maybe a little bit of a wrist warm up. Hmm. And then you're gonna send that left foot away, push the left foot down into your mat. So we're stretching through the calves here. So we hold tension all the way through our bodies. So the feelings of stress, anxiety, overwhelm, they're held in so many different places. So we instantly go to obviously the shoulders and the neck because it's very apparent when stress is being held there. But the beauty of stretching out the whole body is we get to release everything. So taking it to the other side, push the right foot away. And we'll also be feeling into a little bit of strength and power here today as well. Slowly release. Ground down through the hands, take it into a plank. So you wanna be pushing up through that space between the shoulder blades without sending the bottom high. So we don't want this to happen. We still wanna stay nice and long through the spine. On your exhale, wave the body back to a downwards facing dog. Holding here. And then start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Just hang down here, let the head and the neck hang heavy, maybe a little sway side to side. And then let's slowly wave the body all the way up to standing, head and neck come last. We're gonna take a little pranayama, breath of joy. So I'll just move into the center so that you can see what I'm gonna do here. You'll kind of look like you're conducting a choir. This is how breath of joy looks. We go three inhales and then an exhale. So the three inhales are through the nose, the exhale is all through the mouth. So find some buoyancy through the knees. Let's feel into this space, just this letting go, this surrendering. When you're ready, let's go. Two more. Ah, 
hang down. Just let everything soften, everything release. If you had to shift yourself on your mat, just come to a stand near the top of your mat, the back of your mat in your forward fold. And then start to walk the hands forwards, come to find your high plank. On an exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards, high plank. Exhale, take the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Inhale, take the right arm all the way up, easy twist. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards, high plank. Exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale, take the left arm up, easy twist. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, come back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards to high plank. Exhale, place that foot to the outside of the right hand. Inhale, sweep the arm up, easy twist. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, step back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards to high plank. Exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna build upon it this time. Inhale, come forwards to high plank. Exhale, right foot, right hand. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, take it over for our revolved uh, Skandasana. So if you were unsure of what that transi transition was, you're pivoting the feet and coming over into Skandasana. Breathing here. Nice. Coming all the way back around. Exhale, place the hand down. Inhale, take it back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forwards to high plank. Exhale, left foot to left hand. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And then this time, exhale, take it over, revolve Skandasana. Breathing here, stay super strong through that right arm. One more breath. And then bring it all the way back around. Exhale, take an inhale to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Start to walk the feet in towards the hands and then the hands come back. So we're meeting in the middle. And then heel toe the feet out a little bit wider than hip width apart. Drop the bottom down, find Malasana, our yogic squat. Hands come to heart center, take a breath. So feel into the fluidity of that one breath, one action movement. The mindfulness that we can create through that. Place the left hand down, sweep the right arm all the way up. Open through the chest, opening through the hips. And then placing the right hand down, sweep the left arm all the way up. Nice, some big movement here. Beautiful big breaths. And then slowly release it down. Come to sit down on your bottom. Nice, take the legs out wide. From here, so they don't need to be super wide, doesn't matter too much, you can sit yourself up on your block. We're gonna take a side stretch over to the left leg, so you're gonna sweep that right arm up and over, stretching it, opening out through the side body. So this should feel nice and open now. We really opened it up at the beginning. And it's so nice to feel that space being created. And if you can't get the whole way down, it doesn't matter. You can just lean on this left hand to take yourself over. One more breath here. And then coming back through center, placing the right hand down, sweeping the left arm up and over. And again, finding that side opening, really creating space in the body, space in the mind. Hmm. Space to just be. And inhaling, 
Coming all the way up, beautiful. Coming to find a Baddha Konasana, so bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees drop out. You can still stay up on your block, or you could take two blocks and place them underneath the knees, or you can use cushions, whatever feels good for you. Take a nice big inhale, find length through the chest, exhale, we're working our way forwards as opposed to downwards. Beautiful long spine. Maybe take a nice releasing breath here. Just surrendering to that opening. On an inhale, lifting all the way up, take the hands to the outside edges of the knees, draw them up together, bring the knees in. So we're hugging them in. You're gonna hug them with your left arm and your right hand's gonna sweep, sweep behind you and you're gonna take a twist. So gazing towards the back of the room or the back of your mat, wherever you've ended up, just gazing behind you. As you inhale, find length here. As you exhale, go a little deeper through into that twist. And then coming back through center, take hold of the right, uh, the, the legs with the right arm, left hand behind, inhale, find length, exhale, move a little deeper into that twist. Breathing here. Inhale, slowly releasing. Now, wrap both arms around the knees. Drop the forehead down towards the knees. Close your eyes. Feel into this place of safety, of security. There's almost childlike vulnerability here. And know that you do not have to hide your vulnerability in order to be strong. There is such strength and courage in showing your vulnerability. So feeling into that place of your inner child, knowing that she or he is very welcome in this world and we need to nourish and be gentle to that little girl or boy. Slowly coming all the way up. Place the feet down, hip width apart. Take the arms out long and slowly start to make your way all the way down to your mat. Take a moment, just hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side. Hmm. Take the left leg down long. Keep the right leg bent in, right arm goes out to the side and then you take the left hand to the right knee and draw it across the body Head goes over to the right, nice little spinal twist here. Just feeling into this place, this opening. So we're opening and twisting through the torso, maybe getting a bit of an extra stretch through the right side glutes and IT band. And really connect to the breath. Feel into that place of presence, that mindfulness. Notice how your body feels. Notice the connection of your clothes against your skin, your body against your mat, the rhythm, the quality of your breath. And then slowly coming back through center, switch sides. Take the right leg down long, left leg comes in, right hand to the left knee, and then bring it all the way over, taking that spinal twist. You can close the eyes here. Just feeling into, again, that place of mindfulness, knowing that you are here and you are exactly where you need to be right now. And coming back through center. 
hug those knees into the chest. Take one little final rock side to side. And then start to rock yourself up to seated. And come to sit in a comfortable seated position. Eyes are closed. Bring those hands again onto the knees. Close the eyes. Take a big shoulder roll back. And let's take those three big, beautiful, releasing breaths again. Inhale. Feel everything drop away. Inhale. Last time. Inhale. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I do apologize if the light situation with the sun coming in made me a little dark, but hopefully you managed to get through that flow without it interrupting too much. I'm so grateful as always for you flowing with me. Please do check out the challenge if you didn't already. The link is below and it's free. There's no reason not to. I'm giving lots of myself to you for free and I'm really, really excited. So starts 4th of November. Make sure you check it out. Bye-bye.